everybody, I hope you're all doing well. In today's video, we're gonna talk about imbalance and inefficiency and how we can utilize this concept to add confluence to our trading ideas. So to get started, we're looking at Australian dollar versus US dollar, and we're currently on the 15 minute time frame. Now in front of me, I have a clear bullish leg, uh, so we should only be looking for buying opportunities. Now to do that, we have to locate recent breaks of structure because every break of structure presents a possible entry opportunity. So we have a break of structure here. We have another break of structure right here. A minor one, but it is a break of structure nonetheless. And another one that stands out to me very clearly is this one right here. So now that we've outlined three breaks of structure, we can locate our points of interest. In this case, it would be demand zones because we're looking for buys. So we have a demand zone right here, right? This was the point of origin that caused the break of structure. We have another point of origin right here, caused this break of structure, and another demand zone right here that caused the initial break of structure. So what can we do to identify which one of these demand zones would be the best possible, uh, would present the best possible trading opportunity? Well, one tool that we can utilize is the concept of imbalance and inefficiency. So what does that mean exactly? Well, basically in typical market conditions, you have efficient price action, which is when candlesticks are very, uh, even with each other, all the wicks are touching. There's no big gaps in price, um, but every once in a while, well, often actually, there will be an injection of volume into the market for either buyers or sellers, and that will create a gap in price. So even if we scroll back a little bit, there was imbalance right here. You can see that for a short period of time, there was a gap in price that uh, only sellers were in control. There was no equilibrium between buyers and sellers. We have more imbalance right here. It's typically surrounded by these full body candles. Okay, So whenever you see those full body candles in the market, um, that means imbalance and inefficiency is, is present. Okay, So what happens when this occurs is that the market is eventually drawn to correct that area, drawn to it like a magnet to correct the inefficiency in the price action and rebalance things. So what that means for this trade, trading example in front of us is that if we identify the imbalance here, it would be in this area right here, from wick to wick, this wick here to this candlestick wick here. The gap in between is our imbalance zone, okay? That's where the inefficiency in the market lies. So what we can say is that it's very highly probable that price is going to start trading downward, um, drawn to this zone like a magnet to correct the inefficiencies. So that means we can most likely disregard these two zones. There's other reasons to that as well, but in today's video, we're just talking about imbalance. So for, those, for that reason, we're gonna disregard those two zones and we're gonna focus on this zone right here. So what we're gonna do, we'll drag this zone out. Let's play price forward a little bit and see how we react to these two top zones. Okay, so that was pretty quick, but as you can see, this one was violated. We traded away from it briefly, but it was inevitably violated, and so was this one here. So that would have represented two losses if you took those trades, right? So this is the point of this video. We want to identify the best zones rather than taking every zone. Okay, so we've identified uh, this zone as being a highly probable area for price to mitigate before taking off back to the upside because we've identified the inefficiency uh, within this candlestick right here. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna set a buy limit order on this zone. Uh, typically myself and other community members, we don't enter trades this way. We have a much more refined approach, but for the purpose of this video, we're just gonna focus on risk entries, which is basically just setting a limit order. And as for our target, uh, we're just gonna keep it simple and target recent major highs, which is that level right there. So let's drag the risk reward tool up towards there, that represents 9.82R. So that's a fantastic trading opportunity. Let's see if we get triggered in. Trading higher, okay, broke that low. So we're definitely headed towards this zone to correct this inefficiency. 
Okay, right there we got tapped in. Beautiful entry, very little drawdown. Let's see what happens. So we're clearly in profit. Okay, that was a big injection of volume right there. So that creates more imbalance actually. So we're currently at this point in time, just under 5R in profit, but immediately I see another scale-in opportunity. So let me drop down to the five minute time frame. Uh, so while this position is in profit, what you could do is move your stop loss to break even to remove all the risk off the table. And I'm going to map out another trading opportunity here using the same concept of imbalance. So you all might be looking at this area and thinking, okay, where could I get in on this for a scaling opportunity? What is he talking about? Well, with the concept of imbalance, we can identify that there is a big gap in price right here. We have another one here as well, of course, but that's very late in the bullish leg. So we wouldn't want to be targeting that. We want to be targeting an area of demand. Um, the last point of low volume momentum before the high volume momentum kicks into the market. Okay. So given the fact that we've just identified that imbalance, what we can do is highlight this bearish candle right here. I'll include the wick of the next candle as well. Let's drag that out. So that is a very refined demand zone because we are of course on a low time frame, the five minute time frame. but this represents a good trading opportunity for a scale in, um, to stack onto our original position because it created imbalance, it broke structure, although it's minor structure, it is still structure nonetheless. So I would like to target this zone for a scaling opportunity. Now let's see what happens there. Are we gonna get it tapped in? Okay, oh, I forgot to put the parameter tool. Let me just do that. But it would be at the beginning of the zone, so right here. Stop loss would be just below. I meant to do that prior. I apologize for that, but the analysis remains the same. Let's clean this up a bit, make it match with the original position. And of course, we'll target the same take profit, just the recent major structural highs. So this position represents 9.63 plus the original 9.82. That's approximately 19 R of potential profit. So what I'm going to do here, now that we're already tapped into this trade, I'm going to go back to the 15 minutes. So we get the macro perspective here. So as you can see, this looks very healthy so far, um, on the 15 minute perspective, we do see another clear break of structure. So that's a good sign that we're on the right side of the market. Now let's play price forward and see what happens next. Okay. Okay, interesting. Came back to our entry point. That's one important reason why you shouldn't move to break entry too soon. You want to trail your stop loss or move to break even uh, based on market structure, not just a certain profit amount, right? You always want to be managing your trades based on market structure. So we came back to break even our entry point, uh, but we traded away once again. We're still in profit. Let's see what happens here. Uh, we also have an area of resting liquidity in the form of equal highs. Let's play price forward. Okay, going bullish once more. And we have another break of structure. So this resting liquidity was purged. And that turns into another break of structure. Looks like we're going to need some more room here. So let's drag these out a bit. And hopefully we can reach our final take profit. Are we going to see it? There we go. Okay. So let's clean these up a bit again. Right there, it was triggered. Okay. So there you have it. Those are two stacked positions that, uh, use the concept of imbalance and inefficiency in the market to identify the best possible points of interest to trade from. Now, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and gained a lot of value from it. And I will talk to you all soon. If you guys are interested in learning more about this topic and many more within this strategy, please consider joining our private discord community where I share regular case studies on a weekly basis, uh, breaking down different trade ideas and concepts. Uh, I also share my daily analysis, all the trades and all the zones that I'm looking at on a daily basis. Uh, I also have a section for team analysis where our coaches share their side of things as well. We have weekly analysis. Uh, we have a member zone with a chat room, a, a section for questions and suggestions. 
uh, trade ideas, a place to share losing and winning trades because there's much to learn from both of them. And then of course we have the full CPA course uh, with all these different modules and plenty of lessons within each of them. So if you'd like to learn more about this strategy, just click the link in the description and come trade with us.